but apart from joking, it is interesting to see the small countries, smaller countries, which do not produce oil wealth. And uh, Nadine was indeed uh, pointing that out. Uh, she said the only wealth is human being. Uh, um, they find a way or a set of ways of existing, communicating, although they have little money. Of course, the issue with the internet uh, uh, in the Mediterranean community is the language. I mean, how can an Italian people speak to Jordanians or to Tunisians? Uh, this is still a problem. So in Northern Africa, you have French, of course, because we had 130 years of French occupation and colonization uh, by the French. Um, the, the world like uh, Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon, you have English, because there again, you know, of course, France as well in Syria and Lebanon. But the internet is undoubtedly a revolutionary way of having people communicating together. But uh, what about the language? And this is something that we have to think about it, because not all are fluent in English or speak English. Indeed, Nadine was pointing out again that uh, most of the communication is in Arabic. Um, in Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco, I have an experience with TV. So I wondered, what about the language I have to use for my TV channels? And this is far from being easy. A little in Arabic, Mag uh, Maghreb Arabic, and uh, a little in French, because uh, the uh, Maghrebian is not the language of Jordan, of Syria, or Iraq. Um, the uh, Algerian, Tunisian, and Moroccan dialect is a completely different one. If I may compare, you, after the Second World War, and I'm talking about Italy, uh, Italy uh, was uh, broken into many regions, and uh, those who spoke Sicilian or the dialect in Lombardy, etc. I'm not talking about educated people. I've learned Italian here through a TV show called Non è mai troppo tardi, it's never too late. I was nine, and I learned Italian not at school, but through RAI, the Italian Broadcasting Corporation. This was incredible. I'm talking about 1957. A few of you may remember that. So linguistically, Italy was united through the language uh, broadcast uh, by TV. And this is something that people tend to forget. And we are applying this particular pattern in uh, Northern Africa, which means that the French or the Arabic spoken in the streets has been introduced into our TV channels, differently from the Middle East, where you have no English and you have only Arabic. So to get, to get back to the internet, much remains to be done. I would say all remains to be done, also because you have uh, the economic issue to have an access and purchase a computer, political censorship, not all heads of states um, uh, wish their people to communicate. But I believe that the progress is, uh, uh, makes it inevitable to have this particular fast uh, development as it happens with you. What about the language during the Iran revolt? Um in June, Google uh, translated from Farsi into English. And this was the reason why almost all messages coming from Tehran and uh, cities close to it uh, could be read and understood. Uh, indeed, I was saying it. English is the most widely spoken language in the Middle East, but I was uh, talking about how Italy, Spain, uh, the Mediterranean countries can communicate with the Arab world. Uh, I mean, English is not the most popular language. We have to still understand in which way to communicate among ourselves.